Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know I haven't been very active lately, but things are about to change. I've just been working on a set of tools for M-Logic based processors um, and the Android platform. Um, another thing, this video is brought to you by freaktab.com. Head over there, check out the forums and start modding your Android device. So, this guide will be making a custom ROM for M-Logic based processors. The first thing we want to do is download my set of AMLogic tools I built for the firmwares. You can head over to XDA developers and grab the set of tools from here. I'll post a link in the description. But yeah, second of all, you want to download a firmware for your device, specifically for your device. Um, that way, if we do that, there'll be little to no bugs that you'll face as a firmware is specifically de designed for your device already. Um, I got my firmware from here and I'm basing it on a Tanix Ray Mini. Um, it must be in the format of a of an image, a USB burn image. At the moment it doesn't support unpacking from zip files. However, it does support packing to zip files. So let's get started. Head into the MLogic Tools directory and open the customization tool. Accept. Now we want to click unpack. Go to your, navigate to your firmware, select it, probably best off to pack to level, unpack to level, sorry, click unpack, this may take a while, I'll sit here and wait, just for the purpose of the video, Yeah, as I was saying, this tool was created by me um, based on the original customization tool for that MLogic originally made. I have added 7.1.2 support and higher. There is a lot more features, a lot more stability plus fixes. I'm looking to push an update within the next 24 hours of the actual tool. However, you can still export and import your projects from the previous versions to the newer versions. So that won't be a problem when updating comes with a lot of tools as well. I've actually made a whole bunch of them. Upgrade package info. This is my cool ADB client. Basically it's a C sharp ADB client for .NET framework applications. Um, this is my flash tool. Basically just flashes um, partitions to your device. I won't get into that today. We're, looking, we're learning about ROMs. Okay so the tool is successfully unpacked. The first thing you'll notice is the system properties page and the product info. So here we have the Android version. Here we have the model, the vendor, which is obviously going to be AMLogic. Your product, this is your board, the security patch, and the build. I've added some additional features like um, checking for the size, counting the files, and counting the applications. Here we have the user interface tab. It supports playing boot animations. Um, you can change it and enable boot video. If you enable boot video, you have to place an MP4 file in the system, etc. folder named boot video with no extension. Uh, down here it shows uh, the dimensions and frame rates per second. You can also click it. For some devices, it supports changing wallpapers. A lot of AMLogic based devices actually implement their own launchers and the backgrounds are embedded inside those files. So if your device doesn't support it, just send me a, um, the path to the launcher and the, launcher for the actual launcher itself and I'll add support. Um, for example, we can change this, just click on change, change to that for example. The tool does everything programmatically and puts it in the correct format so you don't have to worry about any of that. Give it a second, this is a 4K image, so it takes a while. Not too long, but okay. So we've changed the wallpaper. Um, here we're able to change. Oh, we're not able to change the boot logo just yet, but I'm looking to implement that in the next version. Ah, uh, the applications tab. Okay, so this is just um, that just shows you all the applications within the ROM. You can add, remove applications. For example, uh, this is a stock launcher. 
YouTube shouldn't be a system app, so we'll remove it. Um, it's different directories, applications in a framework directory, priv app, and pre-install. These pre-install applications, every Emlogic device has a pre-install folder. On boot, it what happens is there's a script that is run through the kernel that installs these applications on boot. So you can, if you like, you can uninstall these applications, or if you want to leave them on there, you can leave them. So these are removable applications, whereas these three folders here, uh, standard users can't remove without root access. <coughs> Takes me to the print, uh, the kernel and recovery for, uh, tab. So this is an interesting feature. Um, what I've added here is unpacking level two. It automatically unpacks the kernel and recovery, so we're able to freely edit the kernel as well as the recovery. Um, you can actually replace the kernel with the recovery as well. Modify the default prop. You can open the kernel directory or recovery directory if you like. Um, this option here enables you to convert your stock recovery to a team room recovery, project recovery. I won't get too much into that. Basically it's just for flashing rums, backing up your, your device, etc. The advanced tab. This isn't properly complete, but the features here all do work. I'm looking to add more. Um, this just basically opens a work folder, so temp, which is just a split um, image. This is the unpack system, recovery, and kernel. These are just this is just another level I made up in my in my own head just to change wallpapers and blue logos. So that's not really relevant. Um, this is an interesting one, opening your system to modify the contents of the system. This here, you can modify the build prop. So if you want to change the name of your arm, you change the display ID. So for example, make sure you edit on a, um, an, uh, on a notepad that preserves um, end of line syntax so you don't mess up the system. Save that. Close number plus plus. Yep. <clears throat> um, this feature enables init D, as I was explaining through. Uh, I was explaining how the pre-install folder works. Basically, the script that is run from the kernel, I actually enable a hook to hook it to an, to the init D folder in system etc. init D. It's a very dodgy way of doing it, but I guess it works. Um, this is a keyboard map. You can you can edit keys. There's actually a bug inside Emlogic firmware. Uh, it's key number 28. It's supposed to be enter, but it should be um, when you first unpack the firmware, where it'll be D-pad down. So you want to go ahead and change that to enter, because on um, US uh, wireless uh, mouses and keyboards. The enter key actually does not do enter, it types a Q which is also D pad down. So you want to change that right away to fix that bug. Um, this option just opens that same file that I was just editing. <coughs> now packaging. There's multiple ways of packaging the ROM. Um, you can you can turn it into a zip that you can flash your recovery. This option will be updated in the next release. Um, less options will be added, but it will be exactly like burning the burning the actual ROM to system, so all the files can be included in the package instead of just kernel recovery and system. Um, you are able to change your compression level. Here you can create a USB burn tool image. This option allows you to flash your custom ROM through USB burn tool, so it will rebuild from level 3 all the way to level 1 and then convert it back into an image. I strongly suggest using that option at all times. And this just exports it to a tool project file, which is a CTP file. It's basically just a zip file with the contents of the temporary folder inside the MLogic tools directory. Um, you're able to import and export the packages. You can click unpack and choose either a CTP file or an image file. So that's handy if you want to do additional modifications or you're working on multiple ROMs. But for now, we'll repack to an image. 
set it to desktop. I'm going to call it first. Um, probably best not to do spaces. This will take a while. Basically, it repacks from level 3. It, it puts uh, the boot logo, um, the wallpaper, and the boot animation into level um, the level 2. Then the level 2 will be repacked, the kernel system and the recovery, to image format. They are then brought up to level 1, and the level 1, um, the, the level one folder is actually repacked into a USB burn tool image that you can actually flash through the, the MLogix USB burning tool. So that completed successfully. And now we should have our first ROM. There you go. As we removed that, we removed one application, which was YouTube. It's quite big. So you'll notice it's a little bit smaller than the original. But yeah, you can go ahead and flash through USB burning tool, the official one. I'll just select the image to verify it worked properly. <clears throat> It'll come up with an error if it wasn't verified properly or repacked properly, which obviously it was. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, these tools actually took me quite a while to make. Um, so showing your support on forums, donations, all that sort of stuff is always welcome. You can find all the links in the description from this video. And have fun making your first one. It's literally that simple. Goodbye.